Packard 180 Custom Super 8 Club Sedan 1940. By the end of the 30s, the status of a car was no longer determined by the number of cylinders of its engine, so Packard discontinued the 12-cylinder Model 12 and in 1940 offered the 8-cylinder Packard 180, 180, Custom Super 8 instead. This car cost between $2,240 and $6,300, but shared the chassis and engine with a cheaper Packard 160, dollar one comma five hundred two thousand two hundred dollars. Moreover, the entire 18 series, from the Packard 110 to the Packard 180, received a unified all-metal body, in which only the length of the hood and front fenders varied depending on the wheelbase. Naturally. The body types were different for each model. The Packard 180 was produced in three versions. The Series 1806 with 127 wheelbase included only the four-door club sedan, the Series 1807 with wheelbase 138 inches, seven-seat touring sedan, five-seat formal sedan, five-seat Darren convertible Victoria, four-door Darren convertible sedan, 4-door Darren Sport Sedan and 5-seater Rolson All-Weather Cabriolet, 1808 series with 148 wheelbase, 7-seater Touring Sedan, 7-seater Town Limousine and 7-seater Rolson All-Weather Town Car. Compared to the Packard 160 model, the car was distinguished by a more luxurious interior in high-quality fabric or leather with wool flooring and a speedometer and a clock, made in the form of a telephone drum were symmetrically located on a wood-painted metal dashboard. Limousines and town cars had a glass partition. The Packard 180 was powered by the most powerful inline eight-cylinder engine on the market, with a displacement of 5,834 cc and 160 horsepower, despite the fact that it was atmospheric and low valve. The standard equipment also included a three-speed manual transmission with a Kano drive overdrive, it could be engaged in any gear when reaching 48 km h and reduce engine speed by 27.8%, a hypoid rear axle on springs, an independent front suspension safety flex on springs, hydraulic drum brakes, power wipers and power windows, world first. For a surcharge of $300, a bulky air conditioning system designed by Henny Motor Company was offered. This company, which built ambulances and hearses on a Packard chassis, first installed an air conditioner in its ambulance in 1938, 